All right, now I'm going to show you how to build a, uh, an altimeter bay. Um, first we have our uh, tube here, it's eight inches. So we need to glue this ring on, which will be um, clean on the outside. And it needs to be in the center. So to make it in the center, measure three and a half inches in from each side. It's a one inch ring. Get a couple of marks. And we'll have to glue this. Um, but we don't want the glue to be anywhere on the outside of the tube. So we're just going to put a real thin smear of glue on the, on the altimeter bay coupler. Make sure it stays between the marking lines you just made. Slide this on. Line it up in the center and then you'll want to take a paper towel or your finger or something and get rid of all this glue that's on the edge. If there's any glue left there, you uh, won't be able to get it perfectly close to the body tube. And then we set that aside and let it dry. Um, next we're going to assemble the bulkheads. You'll have um, three pieces here, two large ones and then one that's slightly smaller. And you'll glue the slightly smaller one to one of the larger ones. Um, again, you don't want the glue to seep out of the edge. So just a small bit is fine. Put it together and then in your uh, kit you'll have three eye bolts. One of them is, goes in the center and the other two we'll just right now use to align the three holes that are on the bulkheads here. Squish that together. Again, I'm just using these as placeholders. The two of them anyway. The one in the center um, you want facing on the, the, the eye part to be on the larger disc. Um, put your washer and a nut. Tighten it down. Doesn't really matter which way it's facing, but we'll go like that. Um, and then since this one does stay here permanently, we're going to use um, some glue to secure it. You can use Loctite, epoxy, super glue, um, anything that uh, will really hold it. So I'm here using uh, our reactive pack epoxy. So I gotta mix it up, leave this for a few minutes. So I put a glove on to uh, deal with this epoxy. It's not the greatest for your skin. So, so I'm going to take these off now. The glue's dried enough that it's not going to shift. So then we'll cut off the corner of the epoxy. and put maybe about half of it around the threads and the nut. All right, so we'll set that aside and that will cure. Um, then we'll take one of our other eye bolts and do the same thing to this bulkhead, this single bulkhead. Smooth this out a bit. And we'll let that cure. You take the glove off. And 
and probably should have done this before I glued them together, but um, you would want to uh, test fit this in your tube. Um, I think ours was just a little on the large side. Yep. So we'll take some sandpaper and just sand down the edges. And you'll also want to sand down the edges on the inside and remove any uh, berms that you have on the inside so it uh, doesn't, the, when you put the bulkhead in, it doesn't catch. And you want to do both sides because you're never going to be sure which way uh, you're going to be pulling the bulkhead in, or which side. Do a test fit, see if we need to sand any more. That seems to go in pretty much perfectly. All right, now we are going to build the sled for the payload. Um, got a few parts here. You have your actual sled, two brackets for the back that the threaded draws will go through, and this little piece that's kind of shaped like Oklahoma. We'll glue the Oklahoma piece on first, and uh, this will sit on the back here. And this is for a battery stop. You'll put a 9-volt battery right here, a loop, um, a zip tie through here. And just so you'll have your 9-volt loop zip tied to the thread, to the sled, and this keeps the battery from sliding around. Um, we'll just use standard wood glue. You can up the strength by using epoxy if you'd like. Glues glued on there. And then on the other side is where you'll glue these brackets. Smoothing out the glue. Get that nice and tight. And then we let that and our bulkheads dry before we can put in the, uh, the threaded rods. 